Welcome back. Let's now look at uh, the business flows to ERP. We saw uh, different business models like uh, the manufacturing, then we saw uh, what is a distributor, then the retailer and of course the aggregators. So those are the uh, business models. So business models um, will vary from business to business and within the business models there are going to be the business flows um, business flows in the sense we earlier uh, recall an individual going to a, a, a person going to a supermarket to uh, buy certain goods there are sequence of activities and those activities are classified as a business flow uh, you might have uh, five ten activities those are the process and it's also called as the business flows so this business flows are uh, important from uh, ERP perspective we'll see that uh, how the flow happens so the first one as far as the business is concerned it need there is a legal entity a person has a name uh, it could be John it could be Tom so that's the name of the person similarly a business can have a name so if you provide a name um, is that uh, sufficient to start the business not really so it needs to be a legal entity and legal entity concept uh, is uh, huge I mean it, it can be a proprietary concern partnership or incorporated or, or uh, corporate meaning a limited company private limited so many factors are there i mean there are process there are statutory requirement from country to country to start a business uh, they i mean there are the statutory process needs to be adhered and then um, it gets uh, registered so once it is registered with a particular country in a particular country it's, it becomes a legal entity why it is called a legal entity is that um, uh, suppose uh, there is by chance there is uh, a disagreement between your vendor your supplier your creators uh, so either they can take the legal entity to the court or legal entity can take uh, the alternatively the other person to the court so till the time it's a legal entity meaning till the time it is registered uh, the name is the company uh, the equity uh, all the all those informations are registered with the uh, government for a, as, as per the statutory requirement uh, it cannot start its operations so the first point is a business needs to be a legal entity or it's called the organization so once you have that you can start off with the process so as we discussed earlier I mean uh, you need to have a plan the sourcing is where if it's a retail business uh, you could uh, procure the goods you can market and sell the goods whereas if it's a manufacturing uh, company then you might make uh, that is manufacture it and then uh, uh, market and sell so this is a make process is there so even after the sales is done not all product you can just uh, cannot just sell the product and forget it not all product is of that category there is a current uh, uh, something called warranty class or a support need to be provided for the product say for example if it is something like a mobile phone the mobile phone it has a warranty and the time of uh, selling it you provide the warranty and if something happens you need to support the product but certain cases certain products you just sell it off and then generally uh, it doesn't uh, require any warranty say for example yeah you go to a restaurant you consume a food um, you order a food you take take food either it is dinner lunch and they don't uh, generally provide you with a warranty that nothing will happen to you so there is no warranty there so you just uh, uh, sell a meal and that's it the sales process ends there but whereas in case of others there is going to be other clauses manufacture I mean uh, manufacturing defect which needs to be taken care uh, with a warranty in that case there is a process of support 
so uh, you have a different set of um, you know, pillars and within the pillars there could be a process business flow happening between the pillars so uh, once you have the legal entity in the place you have a office and you need to have an employee in place and once you have employees you need to um, pay them so how you pay them i mean they based on the number of days they work you make a payment that's called the uh, people to pay check process and uh, then the process needs to be accounted because this is the end point um, that is where all your profit loss statements are generated so once you pay you need to account for it so you need to have the accounting entries in place <clears throat> and then once uh, you have the legal entity you have people you procure procure goods particularly if it's a, um, a retail or a distributor you just procure the goods so the procure to pay process is there there are sequence of as i said there are sequence of steps that's called the business flows we will see that in the procure to pay process and then uh, once you procure you need to maintain uh, the it's called the inventory how many items you have procured at what point of time you have to procure again so those things um, have to be taken into stock because again the inventory has a value the cost of the goods and once you uh, sell it off the cost of the goods sold uh, minus the selling price is what is the profit so all this will flow into the accounting as well so inventory you have to maintain and particularly because this is between source and make particularly if you are a manufacturing company then the raw materials uh, has to be procured and processed and again that is where the classification of discrete and we have seen discrete manufacturing and the process manufacturing also happen so inventory to fulfillment is another process business process and then once you have them yes you start selling the goods so code to code to order you provide a quote quotations to the customer and they um, give you the orders to be processed code to order and then once order comes you have a, a business process called order to cash that's where your receivables that money uh, you get from the customer then campaign you uh, you have the road shows you release advertisement campaign to order you have so all this is on the receivable side that is uh, cam uh, I mean market and sell and then uh, once this process it's a repeat process which is going to happen then you have based on the demand you forecast and this is where all your business intelligence uh, needs to um, come into picture how much say for example in the continuous three months you are selling 10 10 10 products uh, for every month so in the fourth month you might estimate 10 product for that uh, next month so you procure 10 products in advance so that uh, uh, when the customer uh, comes into um, to the business and uh, ask for the partic particular product you, uh, you are not um, i mean uh, you don't uh, if you are not having that in stock then uh, yeah that's a lost opportunity so you need to ensure that you have right quantity in your stock and that's where the forecast to play uh, forecast to plan makes um, the significant uh, impact on the business and demand to build and again uh, forecast to plan and demand to build demand to build is on the manufacturing side uh, you need to build uh, so that's where it is on the make side of it and then contract to renewal this is all on the uh, mostly on the project side of it uh, if they, you have a long running contract that needs to be uh, renewed and request to resolution is something like you have some warranty uh, classes there and if you have uh, any uh, challenges they either that needs to product needs to be serviced or uh, replacement needs to be provided or if it is something like a say for example if it's a mobile connection your mobile connection is not working network is not there then you uh, call up the call center and uh, ask them to uh, you give your the problems what you are facing and they give you uh, with a support ticket and that is where the request to resolution happens and this is more on the 
customer relationship management side which is the crm uh, which is called generally called so that's generally called the uh, crm then your concept to release is more on um, a product particularly if you have say for example a new mobile phone uh, smartphone last four years four to five years you heard about smartphone before that there is was just ordinary phone uh, smartphone was a new concept at that point of time smart uh, may, may be around uh, 2010 or 2010 you would not have had a uh, smartphone uh, you just had ordinary phones so smartphone would have been a concept at that point of time so that's a concept how to release it as a product there is a concept to really release uh, the plan is there you are going to incur cost towards research and development and then finally you release uh, the product so concept uh, to release uh, is what it is uh, particularly if it is a new product and project to profit and this is ideally uh, the mobile phone towers the mobile phone towers uh, you commission the mobile phone um, towers and uh, or any other um, for example if you want to build a building which needs to be rented out or uh, a railway bridge so those are uh, long term projects or even uh, toll roadways the road uh, road needs to be laid and then it will be used similarly uh, the railway track as well needs to be laid out and then it will start uh, start using it but once you start using is is what you generate the revenue but initial days there are going to be expenses and this is tracked through um, projects so that's where project to profit so <clears throat> all this again based on what kind of a business model you have you have various erp modules and the erp modules um, maybe uh, the data from one erp module will flow to a subsequent module based on the business flows so that's where the entire uh, business tracking is done through the erp modules so what's an erp it refers to system and software package used by organization to manage day to day business activity such as human capital that's where your payroll is going to come Ca human capital management and then manufacturing the supply chain acm uh, and then accounting process so in addition you will have the uh, customer relationship which is called the crm marketing uh, business um, marketing and business tasks are added so it's basically uh, refers to the systems and software packages used by the organization to manage day to day activity that's about the erp because it has to cater to the business flows so we'll progress further stay tuned thank you